just put my spat calibration t-shirt on because hopefully we've got something to celebrate after this capacity test of the Jackie, the Jackie Per, the Jackie Per battery, 100 ampere hour, lithium iron phosphate, 51.1, 51.2, 51.2 volts. We're doing the full capacity test. We are a bit limited with information we are getting during this test because I still don't have access to the BMS. We are RS252, um, 232 it is exactly. <laughs> so we can only, oh, it's not turned on yet. We can only rely on the display information here, as well as the information on the Victron Smart Shunt, which I have connected already. 100% state of charge. Set this one to 100 ampere hours. I don't know when the BMS will shut down. We will see. But as per the as per the test report, inspection report, we will get 104.7 ampere hours out of this battery with the settings the battery comes with, apparently. So today we want to confirm this one if we get over 100 ampere hours out of this battery. Would be great. Just as a reminder, the Jackie battery has uh, EVE LF100F cells. If you haven't seen the video when we looked inside, it is linked under this video. Smart shunt connected and working. Negative, everything is connected to our bus. So I turn off solar and I will disconnect our two batteries here as well. Okay, out of the way. Isolated, isolated. This battery, the QSO battery is isolated. Nothing is connected anymore to our link system. Solar charge controller is off. Okay, let's fire up the Jackie battery. Turn on the circuit breaker. There we go. And turn on the inverter. And plug in the vehicle and start charging. Okay, the test lander sits on 60%. We are pumping this up to 80% and we will charge with 5 amps only. Yeah, this gives us 22 amps. That's perfect. 20 amps would be 0.2C. So we are a tiny bit over, but that's totally fine. So the battery should be fully discharged in 5 hours. It is now a quarter to 5. It is B o'clock and the sun is already setting. What a beautiful weather. It's the long Easter weekend here, plenty of time to do videos. Menu, menu, enter. Ooh. Yeah, 22.8 amps. We are discharging. So these 5.1 kilowatt hour of the Jackie battery should give us around 10% state of charge in the Tesla. So 10% more, which is good for around 40, 40 kilometers or so. So we are starting with 207 kilometers of range and I've already charged 25 kilometers today because the big battery was full. And this in mid of autumn, so that is great. All right, guys, without further ado, I'll have a spat and we will see us again in five hours. That is like, that is like 10, that is 10 p.m. Oh shit. All right, see you um, um, when it's dark outside. Did I actually say hi? Hi guys, welcome back to the off grid garage here in sunny, hot Australia in the middle of autumn. We've got a negative one. Oh, well, we will have sunset in one hour. Battery is almost full. It's all good. Uh, I have forgotten to reset the history again. So it's negative. So we have pulled already 1.8 ampere hours. Okay, reset history. So we need to factor this in later on because I want to have the kilowatt hours as well here. Ah. I'm so bad with that. Much, much, much later. 6% left, it says. 6%. Menu, menu, enter. 50 volts, enter. 10.48, the BMS claims. So it says we have got another 10.8 ampere hours to go. And this one says we have consumed 92.6 ampere hours but we have to add another 1.7 ampere hours because I idiot forgot to reset the history. So, so far we have pulled 4.7 kilowatt hours and 93 ampere hours all in total. 
Yeah, pl Plasti 1.7. I was just monitoring the voltage of the battery from inside the house because, well, I don't have access to the BMS. So the voltage the Lynx chunt actually measures here is a bit lower than what the BMS measures. And this makes perfect sense because we've got voltage drop on all these cables here. Higher voltage in the battery, lower voltage up here. And I could hear the fan here actually going slower as well already. Enter. Okay, let's check on the cell voltages. And, uh, 3.1. 3.1. Yep, that all looks good still. Okay, let's give it another 10 minutes. Cell number 9, first cell under 3 volts. We are at 48.5 volts. 5%, 5 ampere hours left. We've got an alarm running. And let's measure the relay. So I'm measuring contact 1 and 2. Or 3 and 4. There's nothing. The relay doesn't seem to work. There should be... I don't know, we have to have a look in the settings then in the BMS. So far this feature is not working. Yeah, several cells now under under 3 volts. 2.8 under 2.9. I think cell number 9 will be our lowest one. Yeah, definitely watching cell number 9. Okay, we are at 0% as per the smart shunt. We have pulled 5 kilowatt hours and 100 ampere hours almost. Yeah, some other cells are catching up now. Oh, 2.9. Yeah, cell number 9 is our lowest. I don't know when the BMS shuts off, I think at 2.7, I would guess at 2.7 volts, but could be 2.8. Then we would be very close to a shutdown with uh, cell number 9 leading the way. Yep, they're all higher. All other cells seem to be higher. Cell number 9, almost 2.8. And we have pulled 100 ampere hours, 99.5 ampere hours. I'm not sure if we can reach the 104. I don't think so. Yeah, we are under 2.8 and still going. Uh, maybe it goes down to 2.5, who knows? Pulling 26 amps now. Under 2.7, still going. 5.1 kilowatt hours so we have reached the rated energy capacity 2.599 it looks like it goes down to 2.5 all the way down yeah all the other cells are higher definitely cell number nine 101 ampere hours we have pulled and 5.1 kilowatt hours still. There we go. And it's off. We are officially off. So was this at 2.55 or something? So very close to 2.5 volts. Now, I'm measuring again the relay contacts, but none of them has any throughput, nothing. No, nah. that is not working. Oh, and the whole, whole BMS has now shut off as well. So that's it. So we've got an under voltage protection on the display now. I've connected the power supply now to get the BMS up and running again. But we don't know if it's a pack under voltage or a cell under voltage protection. I assume it's the cell. They set it to something like 2.55 volts or so. So this was the last screenshot of this smart shunt. 
101.1 ampere hours. I actually didn't manage to get a screenshot of the history, but we've seen before we were already at 5.1 kilowatt hours of uh, discharge energy. So it has actually met the rated. So it has actually met the rated capacity of 5.1 kilowatt hours here. We also have reached the 100 ampere hours, but we have not reached the 104.7 as they have tested it. But again, very hard to tell without seeing all the parameters of the BMS. But so far, yep, that is um, and 1.1 pass from me as well. Okay, guys, so far the discharge test of our Jackie of the Jackie Per. And I'll try to get the RS232 adapter, two USB adapter tomorrow. It's a bit difficult during the um, Easter weekend here in Australia. Let's see if I can get this adapter for tomorrow. And hopefully this gives us access to the BMS then and we can see the actual settings then when it shuts off at the higher voltage and lower voltage. So I will leave the battery connected on the solar. We will get full sunshine again and I will fully charge the battery from solar tomorrow. The pool fan system will deliver five kilowatt hours, exactly what the battery needs. Ah, here for everyone interested, we have actually increased the range by 30 kilometers in the Tesla. Okay, my friends, that's it for today. I would say better tonight. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all your great support here. Thank you very much for your donations. Love you all. And until the next video coming out very soon here, you stay charged, stay safe. And thanks again for watching. See you then. Bye bye. We haven't checked the temperature on our metal. <laughs> it's all the same. 28 degrees inside on the metal duct. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs>